Chief Executive Stephen Fitzpatrick joins me now. So Stephen, welcome to you. Is Good this evening. British gas bowing to the inevitable? Uh, I don't think anything that's been announced today is particularly newsworthy, actually. I mean, as far as oh. we're concerned, I'm delighted to talk to you about it, but as far as we're concerned, it doesn't really matter what we call energy tariffs or energy plans. It's how much customers end up paying for the energy that they're using and also the help that they're getting from their energy companies to use less. So it just changing the name, I don't think, is going to make any difference at all. And you say this because British Gas is saying if people don't move on to a tariff at the end of their term, they'll put them on an emergency tariff, which is essentially standard variable tariff in all but name then. I think the one thing that we'd like to see from the government and from the regulator and from our the energy industry as a whole, is a real focus on helping get the costs in the sector down. So that's the cost of renewables, the cost of networks, the cost of energy efficiency, the cost of electric vehicle infrastructure. Uh, and if we can encourage companies and uh, the network providers to focus on costs, then you'll see energy bills coming down. If we just change the names of tariffs, it's a bit like sh shuffling the deck chairs. But this will blow a bit of a hole in British Gas's profits, though, won't it? Because at the moment, some 60% of their customers are on standard variable tariffs, and yet they generate 70% of their profits. Um, maybe even more. I mean, it's, it's quite hard to tell. Um, but I don't think changing the name of the tariff is going to make a blow in uh, British Gas's profits. What I would say is that if the price that customers pay comes down, that will certainly impact uh, energy company profits if they can't reduce their cost as well. We think energy companies should be more efficient. They should be working harder to be better at what they do, to be better at billing, to be better at meter readings, to be better at helping customers get more out of the energy that they're using. If they were better at it, they would have lower costs and customers would pay less. So what we'd like to see, I mean, we encourage the government and the regulator to completely ignore any uh, attempts to rename or rebrand standard variable tariffs and focus on a, a simple, well-executed price cap that will protect millions of customers from overcharging, save maybe up to 1.5 billion pounds a year, and will lead to greater efficiency across the energy network. And very briefly, Stephen, what have you made of uh, the German owners of Empower offloading the business and merging it with SSE's consumer arm? Well, I think this is probably a response to more competitive pressure. It's one thing that we want to see more of. This, this merger, I don't think it will affect the market particularly. It may help customers of those two companies if they can find efficiencies and lower costs. Um, but ultimately, it, this is a reaction to increasing pressure over time and the inevitability of more price regulation. So it's probably a good thing for the market as a whole. All right, Stephen Fitzpatrick from Ovo Energy. Appreciate you joining me. It's good to see you again. Thank you.